Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your F5 Big IP APM by deploying a LoginTC radius connector virtual appliance and modifying your F5 Big IP APM using the web UI interface. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector Appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVF slash OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into your VMware ESXi console, click create slash register VM, select deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file, click next, then click to add the relevant OVF files. Enter a name for the appliance and click next. Select your relevant storage and select your desired provisioning. Now that you've completed the new VM wizard, click Finish. To view the newly deployed virtual appliance, select the new instance and then open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is now ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Hit the Escape key and pick a password for the LoginTC-user-user. -user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance's web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does, does, don't affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Finally, turn on the web server. Now that the web server is turned on, Open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated in the bottom right hand corner. Enter the same password you configured originally to log in. Now your login C Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now you're going to add a new configuration to accept authentication requests. Click Create your first configuration. Retrieve your application ID and application API key from the LoginTC administration panel. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to View. Copy the API key and paste it. Click Test and Next. Now configure first factor authentication. If you use a Radius server for first factor authentication, you can select Radius. For this video, first factor authentication will be configured using Active Directory instance. Enter the Active Directory host and port, then enter the distinguished name of a read access user, of a user that has read access to the directory in the bind DN field. Enter the password as well. This account will be used by the Radius connector to connect the Active Directory and validate the user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all your users reside. Fill out the username, name, and email attributes as well. Scroll down, click text, and then next. Pass-through is an optional feature where you can configure which users must be challenged with second factor. You can use a static list of usernames or Active Directory group memberships. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control the two-factor authentication rollout to your user base. In this video, all users will be challenged. Finally, configure the Radius client, which in this case is your F5 Big IP APM. 
Enter the name of the client which will appear in your configuration list. Enter the IP address of the F5 Big IP APM. Remember to pick the IP address from the network perspective of the deployed Login TC Radius Connector virtual appliance. Enter a secret that will be shared between your F5 Big IP APM and the Login TC Radius Connector. Pick iframe as the authentication mode for the most streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test, and save. Now the configuration is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the administration panel and from the domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click create member. The username must match the username in your Active Directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address, and click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with Login TC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the Login TC app. Click Add Token and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your LoginTC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with LoginTC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the Login TC Radius Connector virtual appliance. This test verifies that both first and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click Test Configuration to open the test configuration modal. Enter the username and password and click test configuration. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your F5 Big IP APM using the web UI interface. On the Login TC Radius Connector, under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address in the Radius Authentication and Accounting ports. Now navigate to the F5 Web UI interface. Enter your administrator credentials and log in. On the left hand menu, click Access, then open up Authentication and click Radius. Click Create to add the Login TC Radius connector as a Radius Authentication Server. Enter a name for the new Radius Authentication Server. Make sure the mode is set to Authentication and select Direct for the server connection. This mode can also be set to Use Pool if you wish to deploy multiple Login TC Radius Authentication appliances. Under the server address, enter the IP address of the Login TC Radius Connector. Ensure the authentication service port is set to 1812 and enter the same Radius server secret used when creating the configuration on the Login TC Radius Connector. Set the timeout to 90 seconds, set retries to 1, and click Finished. Now you will update the access policy to begin using this new Radius Authentication Server. On the left-hand menu, open up Profiles and click Access Profiles. Select your desired access profile. Open the Access Policy tab and click Edit Access Policy for Profile. There are a variety of ways to implement access policies with X5 Big IP APM. For this video, we will be assuming that the Login TC Radius Connector virtual appliance will be performing first and second factor authentication. 
See the documentation for examples on how to split up that work between the F5 and the LogNTC radius connector. After the AD auth successful path, click the add item. Click authentication. Select radius auth and click add item. Change the name to LogNTC radius auth. Make sure the AAA server is the newly created authentication server pointing to the LogNTC radius connector. Click save. Remove the AD auth box since the LogNTC radius connector will be performing first factor authentication. Click X, then click delete. Now close the policy. Click apply access policy, then apply. Now you will customize the login page of the F5 web portal in order to display the LogNTC iframe authentication prompt. On the left hand menu, select profiles slash policies, customization, then advanced. Switch to advanced customization view. Expand access profiles, your access profile, then the access policy. Expand the login pages and select logon.inc. On your keyboard, type control F, then enter forward slash HEAD. Navigate to the LogNTC F5 documentation and copy the JavaScript snippet. Paste the snippet right above the head tag. From the LogNTC admin panel, Navigate to the F5 application page and copy the application ID. Replace the placeholder application ID with your application ID. Click Save, then click Apply Access Policy. Click Apply to save your changes. Your F5 Big IP APM is now configured to use LogNTC. Now test F5 Big IP APM using the F5 web portal with both first factor authentication against Active Directory and second factor using LogNTC. Navigate to the F5 web portal. Enter the username and password and then click log on. Now users will be presented with an authentication prompt in order to authenticate with LogNTC second factor authentication. Next to LogNTC push, click send me a request to receive a notification on your device. Tap approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your F5 Big IP APM protected web portals securely using LogNTC multi-factor authentication.